this is every FIFA World Cup game, and I'm going to be playing all of them. We'll be starting on FIFA World Cup 1998. On each of the FIFAs, we will have one challenge to complete to advance to the next one. On this FIFA, all we have to do is just score a goal. And I'm going to be France, so we're going to face Brazil, and that was actually the 1998 final. The craziest thing about this World Cup final was that R9 had a fit the day before, so they were shaken, and he couldn't win the World Cup. But I am going to score my first goal. Is it going to be this easy? But let's sweat it. Let's sweat it. Let's sweat it. Oh, my God. I missed it from there. I've got it in. And now it's time to move on to 2002 FIFA World Cup. In the 2002 World Cup, Brazil beat Germany 2-0. All nine scored the brace. And the crazy thing about this was that all nine could have won three World Cups in a row. But I told you about that 1998 World Cup where he had a fit and he couldn't play. And France beat the 3 0 But for me to advance to the next FIFA, I'm going to be Brazil. And we're going to have to score that brace with all nine. Okay, this is all nine. I literally don't know how to score, bro. Look, look, I'm doing step overs. And that's the only thing I figured to do. What the hell? I've just passed it off. All right, what a ball to Ronaldo. Come on, step overs. All right, let's just sprint. I'm fast as a boy. I'm fast as a boy. Oh, my God. I've run through everyone. Let's get the first goal. Let's get the first. We got the first. And we need another one. Okay, silly half time. I want to try to get this brace before half time, baby. Ronaldo's got pace. Okay, he's got pace. Oh, he's run through everyone. He's got the brace. My goal for this video is to win the World Cup with England in the final FIFA World Cup game. So I have to complete every challenge to get there. And it is now time for FIFA World Cup Germany 2006. This was the World Cup where Italy beat France. Dan started the lead off in the 7th minute with a penalty. Matsurati scored in the 19th minute to make it level. And in the 110th minute, the Dan headbutted Matsurati. And got sent off in his final career game in the World Cup final. Then on to penalty shootout, of course, Italy beat France. And I'm going to be France and we're going to be facing Italy. I'm going to change history but in this game i have to get a red card with zidane and i also have to win a penalty shootout with france to make them win the world cup right, let's send this to the a and e oi that is a disgusting foul he's being ready he's being ready the first tackle <laughs> and it's time for the penalty shooter look at the beautiful faces of Henri and buffon all right i have no clue how to take penalties i just hit it down the middle and i scored yes all right i'm saving it he's going that way he's oh bitch. what a save what a save! Then went on and scored a beautiful goal and made a beautiful save. And we also scored another beautiful goal. If we save this, we win the penalty shoot. Oh, wow, what a goal. All right, score this, we win. Score this, we win! We won the penalty shoot, our baby! Let's go! And now it's time for the 2010 South Africa World Cup. My favorite World Cup, and it's probably my first ever World Cup that I witnessed. I was about eight years old when Spain beat Netherlands with that Iniesta goal. And during that World Cup, David Villa was one of my favorite players to watch as he was scoring outside the box goals. And the tiki taka play from Spain was absolutely beautiful. So I'm, of course, going to be Spain, and we're going to face Holland just like the finals in 2010. And it's going to be my goal to score a goal outside the box with David Villa and to score a tiki taka goal with this team. And just looking at this squad gives me so much to so Look at this, Fernando Torres, David Villa, Javi, and he has my two favorite players. Oh, baby, look at the World Cup that Spain won that year. Oh, hello, what is your name? What the hell is your name? We can get this outside the box goal with David Villa. Oh, get off me. Get off me. Oh, oh. And this challenge was taking the absolute piss. We kept taking shots and we kept missing and it was doing my head in until this happened. Come on, David. Finish that. Yeah. Outside the box, I was like, my 15 to 10. Let's go, baby. All right, it's time to get this Tiki Taka goal. I never remember this game being this hard when I was eight years old and I picked it up at the Blockbusters and it was absolutely this hard. But that's Tiki Taka. Please just finish it, just finish it, just finish it. You mop it, you fucking mop it. I want to be there. And here we were playing Tiki Taka just as a Spanish dude. Can we get this goal? Finish Tiki Taka. That's a Tiki Taka goal. We passed it around. We found Iniesta just how he did in the finals of Netherlands. And it's done. And now it's time for 2014 FIFA World Cup Brazil. And this is the World Cup where Messi could have won his first World Cup ever. And Mario Goetze had to score that goal against Messi. And Germany went on to win that World Cup and Argentina was sad. I was sad as Messi's my childhood hero and I didn't get to see him win a World Cup. I was so upset. I am going to be Argentina and we're going to be facing Germany. We're going to have to score a hat-trick with Messi but we're going to have to score three different types of goal. This is a free kick that he scored in the 2014 World Cup. It was brilliant and I'm going to have to do that myself. I'm going to also have to draw past two players like he did in this clip and score a goal and I'm also going to score a goal outside the box like he did in that World Cup as well. That's the three type of goals I have to score. Come on Messi, let's draw past one player. That's one. Let's draw past one more and then go for a shot. Okay, that's two players. I could even make it even more fancier. Come on, just score. Just score Messi. Just score! Messi! Alright, can Messi blast it? Outside the box, Messi! This is the first free kick we have in this game. I honestly don't know how to score a free kick. Maybe we aimed there. 
A little bit of power. Is that going to be a goal? Oh, we then took free kicks for ages and ages. My arm was falling off, but something important oh, happened. I got a Messi. Oh, I've hit the bar, I've hit the bar, I've hit the bar. I then took some more free kicks because I'm an absolute clonker. And you know what? I was about giving up with this one. Messi, I've been trying for hours. If you don't get this one in, Ronaldo's the go. I really don't care. Ronaldo's the go. Ronaldo's the go. I don't care. I've said it. I even went into the practice arena to try score them, but I was absolutely Let's taking the like piss. This. But this happened. He meant Messi. I ain't got a Messi. Goal! Go, 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 go. Hours and hours, but we can finally move on. And now it's time for 2018 FIFA World Cup Russia, where France absolutely dominated that tournament. It beat Croatia in the finals 4-2, which actually made me quite happy because Croatia knocked out England in the semi-finals, which made me cry. But do you remember that absolutely beautiful Pavard goal? That's gonna be one of the goals I have to try score. In fact, he actually scored a very nice outside the box shot in that game. I want to try score that one as well. And I know Pogba is known for his Pogba mobility. He even scored a goal outside the box in that World Cup final. But I want to score. Or outside the box volley with this Pogba. That's gonna be our three types of goals. All right, Mbappe outside the box. Oh! All right, go on. Pogba outside the box volley. Nope. I kid you not. I then went on to shoot so many shots with Pogba that my hands were hurting for playing this shit game. But guess what? It got even worse when I hit the crossbar. Not once, but bloody twice. All right, come on. Come on! Outside the box is done. Now we just need this Pavard goal. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, I did it with Dembele. And now it's time for Qatar 2022 FIFA World Cup. And we are now going to do the entire World Cup with England. And we have to win it. And you may ask, what would happen if I don't win it? I will shave my entire head off. And I mean it. This is what our group is looking like. It's just exactly like the real life one. Are you a traitor to my channel? Are you one of the 78% of people watching me who are not subscribed? Well, then press that subscribe button right now, otherwise you are a traitor to me. Let's kick off versus Iran. We scored a goal in the 33rd minute, and somehow we conceded. But we scored again, and then you never guessed what happened. Oh my god! Oh, finish him off! Finish him off! And the first game versus Iran was a successful three points. And match day two versus the soccer cups, we scored a goal! <laughs> We didn't score one more, we didn't score two more, we scored three more. And we were flying through the group stages. And our last group game against Wales, we backed two goals to get the three points. Sir Harry Kane was getting another golden boot. We are in the round of 16s versus Ecuador. Right, baby? If the team needs us, we're here. Round of 16s against Ecuador. No, we can't concede. He's really conceded in the fourth minute. But after that, we didn't just get one. We didn't just get two, but we got three goals to send us to the quarterfinals. Go on, referee, blow it. We're through. To the quarterfinals, baby. And we now have Argentina in the quarterfinals. Are oh, you gonna shatter Messi's heart? Well, I'm gonna trust the boys for now. I will jump in if they need me. Oh, they've already bagged in the fifth minute. All right, they've scored two goals. I'm going in. I am jumping in, man. This is absolutely devastating. Give it. Harry! He's back one! And Phil Ferdinand was through on goal to get us level with Argentina. Oh, yes. This is it. This is it. Let's get through this. Semi final secured, Raza! And Madison got the board for us. Alright, we're one minute away to go to the semi-finals of the World Cup, and we've got it, baby! And now in the semi-finals, we have Portugal. We have to crush Ronaldo's dreams too. But again, I'm gonna trust the boys until they can see the goal, and then I'm jumping in. Oh! Seven minutes in, Kane is back one! Let's go! Let's go! Don't give it Ronaldo! Oh! oh so I decided to jump in and play some tiki taka England football. To Raza Sterling! Minute. Ah! And there Foden was to secure our final spot. Come on, ref, throw the whistles. England are going to the final. And we have Croatia in the finals. The team that knocked us out in the 2018 semi finals of the World Cup. It's time to get revenge. The players are right beside the World Cup. Is it finally coming home? The good ball. That's a beautiful ball. It's a beautiful finish from Mason Mount in the World Cup final. And these Croatians were playing Tiki Taka where they're going to upset us again like 2018. Oh, they bloody backed one. They bloody backed one. No, I don't want to do this. And this mistake from Pickford might make me shave my head. No, we made a big, big mistake. By the way, everyone keeps asking me how I get these teams like this on Ultimate Team. That's why I always tell you to check out U7 Buy for the cheapest and most reliable Ultimate Team coin. And use code RAS for a 5% discount code. The link is in the description. Ooh. All right, come on. Grealish. It's an easy finish for Jack Grealish. He's brought it back for England. 
There's one minute left. Bloody hell, Sterling's through and there's one minute left. We don't want to take this offense. Let's see if Sterling can do some magic. He's passed it to Kane. Kane! The last minute of the ball come! And England has scored! Kane has done it! Kane has fucking done it! Poor referee. Blow the whistle, England! For the World Cup winners! The fans are going nuts! There's Harry Kane, the captain of England. He's going to lift the World Cup. England, the World Cup! Winner! gonna happen i opened retro world cup sticker packs from 20 years ago and i opened them and i let them decide my team make sure you click here and watch it now